Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So crypto took a bit of a dump. Here's Bitcoin on the hourly, and um, wow, last couple of hours hasn't been uh, too great to Bitcoin. Diving here now into this support level of around 3,500. Um, let's look at XRP right now, XRP USD, and it's the same kind of thing. 32 uh, cents, 32.2 cents uh, here. It came down as low as 32, 31 uh no that's the wick here 31.9 31.6 i think now it's back up to 32.2 so is this a good time to buy well i'll tell you guys right now full disclosure i am not an investment advisor um so i cannot give you advice here's xrp on the daily nevertheless i can tell you what i'm doing i'm putting an order in at 29 cents usd that is what i'm doing i have a feeling it'll go to at least 29 i have some money on the sidelines uh and I'm, I'm going to be buying at 29. Then I'm going to just take a look. I'm going to see how the market's reacting. Of course, guys, as you know, charts are ever moving, ever evolving because it's based on real world transactions and trading. So I like to take a look at the charts from different time frames and kind of gauge it from there. When I was seeing that we weren't making new highs, uh, I had always kind of planned to buy sub 30 because I know my technical analysis and I feel like that was a good level of support to buy in. Nevertheless, market's down, as you can see, uh, everything kind of taking a bit of a tank. Um, but in the news, XRP Tipbot security upgraded, and this is Wheat's Wins project. Um, so he's preventing attacks on unclaimed Twitter handles and loss of tips. Very interesting. I'll link that in the description. Crypto-XRP, that's crypto underscore dash XRP, sent me this article here. He's a great source of information. CBOE CEO, well, that's a mouthful, reveals what is keeping out Wall Street's billions from the cryptocurrency market. And essentially, when you go to the article, it talks about, well, I'll read you a little bit here. Uh, let's go to the top here. During the conference at the media luncheon on January 16th, Ed Tilly, CEO of CBOE, so that's the Chicago Board of Options Exchange, indicated what is hindering the growth of Bitcoin futures and keeping the Wall Street money out of the cryptocurrency market. And so according to him, electronic traded notes is what's keeping Wall Street's billions out. And for those of you who do not know, some people are asking because we know that Bitcoin ETFs were in the news, which is an exchange traded fund. ETNs versus ETF. So ETNs are structured products that are issued as senior debt notes, while ETFs represent a stake in an underlying commodity. Um, ETNs are more like bonds in that they are unsecured. ETFs provide instruments into a fund that holds the assets it tracks like stocks, bonds, or gold. Um, so it's just another piece of the puzzle. And so for these Wall Street types, they really have to have all their ducks in a row in order to jump in feet first. Guys, I always put the links of these articles in the description. You can do more research if you so choose. Another part I just wanted to go down here, the government shutdown delaying the launch of cryptocurrency products. So they're also thinking that the government shutdown in the United States is hindering the process and slowing it down as well. And that, uh, Regulators are still uncertain on cryptocurrency regulations, so it was an interesting article. I think ultimately this will get sorted out. Uh, we're just kind of living in a time where, you know, there's a lot of crazy things happening in the world. And so, I mean, it's a very important um, topic for you and I, uh, but for the government, it might uh, not be first and foremost on their list of things that they need to sort out in government at the moment. I think it's just getting pushed and not uh, getting shelved. Things take time, guys. The bear has gone to sleep. Another tweet here uh, from X Cryptomancer. Swift is no longer attending the Davos blockchain conference on January 24th. Did Godfrey chicken out having a one-on-one -on -one with Brad, or is there something they need to announce and rather do it in Paris? Uh, just a statement here that I saw. Interesting. He was supposed to do a one-on-one -on -one with Brad Garlinghouse, so the CEO or the or the outgoing CEO rather of Swift was supposed to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple. Uh, regarding um, everything that they do, decentralized payments, um, blockchain technology, uh, moving money, all that, all that stuff. And it looks as if he is no longer going to be there. Now, he is the outgoing CEO at Swift, so that might have something to do with it. Um, not sure. It says here that um, um, Michael Krupinski, the president of the management board, uh, will now be 
talking at this roundtable payment systems conference. So a very interesting point here. I was looking at some of the replies and this guy here, XRP E Monty, he will come three to eight days later, like a swift transaction. Thought that was kind of funny. Nevertheless, let's keep moving through the news. And so confirm 27 companies adopting XRP with 13 integrating Ripple's X Rapid. And so the companies keep accumulating. We know uh, about all of these. We know about most of these. And so, although I didn't know about Selly by chip, uh, F. TCS Nexo. Some of these I haven't heard of, um, but a lot of these we have heard of, uh, you know, R3 Omni, uh, Coil, so on and so forth. Nevertheless, this is important because this is the point where these companies, so Ripple's clients, are feeling comfortable enough to give the go ahead to Ripple to tell the world we are using XRP, we are on the blockchain, and we are using your system, XRapid RippleNet, to transfer payments. As we know, Brad Garlinghouse has always said, you know, we are not willing to divulge the information of our clients until they are ready to do so. So it's great that we're hearing more confirmed companies using XRapid, using XRP. And guys, although we aren't seeing the volume right now, we are indeed seeing a cryptocurrency dive, but that's okay because the entire market is diving. As I keep saying, if you want to accumulate, now's the time to buy. A 32 cent XRP will certainly not last forever. But I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.